hey guys welcome back to my new shoot wait <laughs> you didn't recognize me what you mean you didn't recognize it's a dress it's a dress right this dress is from dash of class or dash of class one of them d-a-s-h-o-f-k-l-a-s-s -S -S. They sent it to me in the post or whatever, and I just think it looks so good or whatever. But, um, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to drop this video before I drop the pictures in the dress, so I just thought I'd mention it anyway. But, yeah. Today's video is just going to be like a, a story time, spilling the tea type of video about the big clash. If you guys don't know, I'm a dancer kinda okay not kinda I actually dance but like i don't take it too seriously you know i just dance for fun you know and you know your girl decided to audition for the big clash for my uni back in october or something like that and i got through and i made the team and then on the 19th of march 2020 obviously my uni went against hertfordshire and we flipping won <laughs> Because what amazing, like, I'm not gonna lie, that moment was one of the best moments of my life. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm not even gonna lie to you. But let me just get straight into this video and give you all the goss on the big clash. <laughs> Clash 19th of March and we won <laughs> one thing I will say about the big clash is that anybody who does the big clash you need to give them accolades is that how you say the words accolades you know I've never actually said that word in real life I've always typed it but hey you actually need to give them accolades because doing the big clash is so hard it's time consuming it gets stressful you get tired it's a lot it's a lot and it's not just dancing believe it or not only two sections two games even out of the whole game show is actually dance the rest of it is real games so it's like you have to practice the games as well but it's like it's kind of hard to practice games because you don't know what questions you're going to get you don't know what kind of props they're going to use like the size cups if it's like a drinking game or like a cupping game or whatever so it's a bit hard on that side of things but apart from that it is a lot of fun like i really 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 enjoyed myself i'm gonna insert a clip of uae's my my unis <laughs> my uni's entrance i want you to drop a comment down below let me know which one you think is me in the entrance but yeah here's a video <laughs>
that was our entrance and let me tell you that entrance it was really hard to do let me tell you why it was hard to do it was hard to do because the visuals on the back we had to try and be in time with the visuals on the back and it was really hard because it was like how because if we speed up the claps, I mean the step, then it's like we've already messed up. But then if we're too slow when we're speaking, then we've already messed up regardless. So it was really, really hard. But I think we patterned it. We patterned it. We patterned it. Then we had like Dance Like Me. And guys, guys, shout out to Double. Because if not for him, we would not have had a mix. We would not have had a mix. We had someone to try and pattern it. But it didn't really go to plan. So then he did it last minute. And he he smashed it like a round of applause to him i'm not gonna lie we literally stayed up from like 8 p.m till 6 a.m the day before the clash doing dance like me and that was all because we didn't have a mix like how on earth like we had moves but we had no transitions between each song well proper ones because obviously we didn't know how the songs were going to transition into each song each other because we didn't have a mix and we were worried and then come clash day we're playing it it's the wrong mix we're doing it at the test run and it's the wrong mix let me tell you myself and the rest of my team our mood just dropped and i was even injured as well on the day but our mood just dropped like we thought yep yeah, this is it we wrapped it we're gonna lose whatever it is what it is but we didn't lose. We didn't lose and we smashed it. I'm gonna insert our dance like this. U O E T U O E Essex. is a local company that specializes in all types of rubbish clearance and waste collection from Hertfordshire and the surrounding county.
just get into spinning the tea now okay i'm not gonna lie to you i'm not gonna lie to you too many people hate essex for no reason i don't know if it's because they feel like we actually stand a chance of winning the entire clash or if they just hate us just for the sake of hating i don't know what it is but like it's not cute at all it's really hot oh my gosh if you come to this uni and you ever decide to do the big clash just know everyone's gonna hate you for no for no reason just because you're essex just because you're essex like even in like one of the group chats when everyone else had their clash it was like oh yeah good luck this is that that well done blah 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 but it was a lot of people doing it then when it got to our clash it was like oh yeah i don't really want to come watch your clash because was supporting me making this trip just to watch you guys lose. Um, you H are gonna win, I'm rooting for you H. This is that, that, like propaganda onto Essex. We must have been on Instagram Live one time, right? And we were doing, we were just playing, we were just playing about, yeah, and we must have been like, U O E, U O E, what did we say? U O E what? U O E, U O E, yeah, U O E, U O E what? That's what we did, yeah, in the live. And People got onto us and said we copied other people and it was like, but that's not even our chant. Like we're just we're just messing about. So we can't speak without somebody else saying, Yeah, that's this this that person. Even in the Instagram lives on the actual clash day, people were saying, Oh, that move is from there, that transition is from there, the, that routine looks like it's from there and it's like but moves are gonna be copied regardless because them them their dance moves like nobody owns any dance moves so i don't really understand where that was coming from that's what i mean by people just hate essex for no reason but apart from that guys i will tell you the big clash it's not easy it's not easy at all it's not easy you really find out who um your mates are in the clash as well like there's a lot of fake people doing the big clash like there's a lot of behind the scenes in it but let me not talk too much because i didn't make this video to get anybody in trouble or whatever but there are some people who are saying one thing to a group of people then going over somewhere going over to another side and saying another thing it's like i know what you're saying you fake you fake. you fake anyway i just came to win i literally just came to win and have some fun realistically I personally only wanted to do the clash and then even if we made it to semis I wanted to quit but the team obviously want to go ahead so we're gonna go ahead if we do make it to the semis in fact I know we're gonna make it to the semis sorry there's no way that we can't make it to the semis we worked way too hard to not make it to the semis do you feel me but yeah we'll see innit we'll see that's actually all that I wanted to say. I just really wanted to talk about our victory and the fact that we won. Yeah. Shout out to the Big Clash, the actual Big Clash team. Like, they've been doing this for like nine years or so, I think. Cookies, yes, he's been doing it for like nine years and it's like, she, coronavirus couldn't even stop the clash. You see me, I'm healthy. I ain't got no coronavirus. You see me? And I did it. And I won. We won. My team won. You O E won. You feel me? But it's all about keeping humble. That's what I'm finna do. But I'm gonna let you know that we won. <laughs> but yeah. That's the end of this video. Short, I know. I didn't really have much to say apart from the fact that we won. And apart from the fact that we won. And also that we won. <laughs> But, um, yeah, um, that's the end of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And share with your pals. And don't forget to check out Dash of Class on the... Class? Class? Yes. 
that's your class on Instagram or whatever. A shop that cool clothes. Like this got me. This got me looking like a snack. I'm looking thick. The fuck? What you mean? What you mean? Oh, sorry about the background. I'm even out uni and it's our best she's on whatever. But yeah. I'm out. How many boyfriends have I had? <laughs> What would I name my son? Joseph, Ezekiel, or Junior? Junior. Fuck. How the hell did you get that? Because I remember you saying it. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> How many pairs of shoes do I have? Oh, come on. You have the whole world. 